Hey, hey, welcome or welcome back. It's good to see you as always. I hope you all have had a lovely weekend. It is Sunday evening here in my neck of the woods. Um, I've been kind of a lazy bum this weekend. I've gotten very little done and I actually feel really bad about that. So after I finish this video, I may try to get some stuff done. I'm gonna try to make it a quick edit and a quick turnaround, but um, before we jump into Amber Lynn's new video, I do want to address something that I've seen and has been brought to my attention also in a comment. Um, and that is that people don't think Amber Lynn's Barbie shirt from her last video where she's trying to show a comparison between her heaviest and now is the same shirt. And that's because there was a screen capture showing part of the A missing. Now, I am not Amber Lynn's fan, <laughs> but I do care about truth and people not spreading misinformation or just trying to stir up shit and drama just to be stirring up shit and drama. Amber has enough issues without something being forced. So the issue with the shirts that were shown is it was paused specifically at a time, kind of like this, to show part of the A missing. Now this is not the exact time that they had paused it, but the screen cap was taken at a time where the fold in the shirt covered up part of that A. Because if you keep, that so I have this at half speed. Ah. it's the a is fully there obviously in the previous video right there full barbie full pink yes. let me put her back at regular speed That's my barbie shirt so i will be showing you guys this yeah clip and here's the current shirt it's Obviously the same shirt. Now some people do possibly think she bought a new version of this shirt in order to make it look like she has lost weight. I don't think Amber is going to put that much effort into it to be honest. I do think this is the same shirt because I have no evidence to the contrary. So I do not recall which reaction channel or if it was somebody separate that made the screen caps, but in, in, in my opinion, they were being purposely dishonest with that because you have to pause the video at an exact time that there's a fold over part of that A because if you watch the video, you can clearly see that the full A is there. So in my opinion, whoever did that was purposely being dishonest and being deceitful to try to make Amber Lynn look like she was lying about her shirt being the same shirt. Amber Lynn does lie about plenty of things, don't get me wrong, but there's no reason to try to force things to make it look like she's lying about something. That's my two cents and my take on it. But that being said, we do have a new Amber Lynn video popped up. Um, let me see here. It is titled, I hurt myself and come shopping with us. So when we do first pop it up here, we see her with this wrist brace on. Now she was wearing this wrist brace in videos uploaded on June 1st. The video with the shopping haul from June 1st we see her wearing this wrist brace. So she'd either already hurt herself <laughs> before making this video or these are the same day, but she's wearing different clothes. This one she has on a black shirt and the pink hoops. And in today's video, she is wearing a paw print, heart, heart paw print kind of shirt. So who knows when she hurt herself? I don't know when things have taken place because like with the eric and ricky trip some things were presented out of order because of the way she's clipping and editing things so i don't know um but we shall see here what amberlynn did to herself 
maybe she's been doing too much scratch art. It's too much scratch art and too much scratch off tickets. Maybe I gave her a carpal tunnel. Hello, hello. So, okay. I have a cyst on my wrist. Um, mm. I have gotten some questions and the cyst flares up. And when it flares up, it gets a little bit bigger. It's like a little above my wrist. I've had it for years. It's like whatever. But when it does flare up, my wrist hurts a lot to move. So this just prevents me from moving my wrist. Plus, I don't know if you guys can see the bruise. I'm an idiot. It's like super swollen. Like, oh my God, it hurts so bad. Honestly, I can't tell if her fingers are ever swollen because she kind of has sausage fingers. <laughs> I hate to say that. That sounds mean. Um. But I, I can't see a bruise because her knuckles are dark anyway, unless she's talking about the very, very tip of her finger. Maybe that's where it is. But her knuckles are already dark, so it's hard to see on camera if there's a bruise. I don't see a bruise, and I can't tell if it's swollen, to be honest. That, like the bruise is right here. I'm just a walk-in, and I hit my hand. Just a walk-in. So freaking hard like when it happened i couldn't straighten my finger i could barely close my finger like right now like i can straighten it fine but like mm. whoo, whoo. yeah so this happened last night i'm hurting um her chest looks I'm flushed about to just like get ready for the day um shower i know there's some errands i have to run i am trying to take my medicine accurately because i'm trying I have to speed her up. I'm sorry. I cannot take her normal speaking speed anymore. I have to have her sped up at least a little bit. You guys have to tell, like, I'm just like, she said she wasn't taking her medicine. I know there's some errands I have to run. I am trying to take my medicine accurately because I'm sure you guys have to tell, like, I'm just like mentally fighting with my heart. Like, I just feel happy. But, like, my depression is like coding my happiness and making it. Just to be clear, she has not been diagnosed with depression. She has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder. And from what I've read about it, you cannot be diagnosed with depression and bipolar disorder at the same time. Those two conditions do not coexist. So what from, from what I've read, now if any of you are psychiatrist or psychologist and know more about this, please let me know down below. But it's the highs and lows with bipolar disorder. Whenever you're not taking your medicine is that the lows are like a depressive state. So, but when, whenever she says my depression, it makes it sound like she's been diagnosed with clinical depression and that's not what it is. Hello, editing Libby here. And I just wanted to include a little bit more information for this topic. So this is some information that I have found that says, bipolar disorder is easily confused with depression because it can include depressive episodes. The main difference between the two is that depression is unipolar, meaning that there is no up period, but bipolar disorder includes symptoms of mania. To differentiate between the two disorders, it helps to understand the symptoms of each one. So then, here we have some symptoms of bipolar disorder, which are, although bipolar disorder can include the above depressive symptoms, it also includes symptoms of mania. Bipolar disorder is characterized by mood swings that fluctuate between depressive lows and manic highs. A manic episode is described as a distinct period of abnormally and persistently elevated, expansive, or irritable mood and increased goal-directed activity or energy, lasting at least one week. Symptoms of mania include inflated self-esteem or grandiosity, decreased need for sleep, more talkative than usual or pressure to talk, flight of ideas, racing thoughts, distractibility, increase in goal-directed activity, excessive involvement in potentially reckless activities, usually involving drugs, money, or sex. With bipolar disorder, 
the mood episode is severe enough to cause marked impairment in social or occupational functioning or to require hospitalization to avoid self-harm. I think we can agree that we have seen all of these in Amberlynn. The excessive involvement in potentially reckless activities, definitely the money on that with her manic spending she does. If she did not have the income she has from YouTube, she would probably be bankrupt right now. Now, I did not include the symptoms of depression in this, but you can look those up yourself if you like. But I just wanted to add this little bit of extra information. So I'm wondering if she's been skipping her meds again, which is something that wifey can really help her with to keep her on track with that, because obviously Amberlynn cannot do it. So we're like, it's kind of frustrating. Kind of feel grateful for my life. And I'm just like kind of going through it. So that's fun. But today we are on day five or so of taking my medicine in a row. So that. So she's on day five of taking it in a row. So that means, yeah, I don't know where this coincides with her telonyms, but she was finally back on track on, on telonym with her meds about two and a half weeks ago, I think. She needs to find a system that'll work. Like it, I think she keeps her medicine in like the kitchen. Maybe she needs to put it in her bathroom by the sink. So when she gets up, and goes to the bathroom to get ready to brush her teeth, shower, whatever. The medicine is right there, and she can take it every morning whenever she wakes up. It's She she has to get on a schedule with her medication and keep taking it. Because if I remember correctly, like a year or so, she wasn't taking her estrogen like she was supposed to either. And it's like, girl, come on. So this is something that she absolutely has to get better at and wifey could help her with that and i hate to say it but if you have the medication and you're not taking it then it's your own damn fault and maybe maybe i'm not a good person for thinking that but it's the way i see it that's a good thing it's just sometimes when my mental health gets so bad like it's just hard to take my medicine or it's just purely out of like- I just That's remember. where your wife and can help you. Those things like where you're so Wifey can help you. Set an alarm on your phone for every single day at whatever o'clock, take your medication. And you live with someone else that could help you with that. I don't wanna hear any excuses about taking your medication. That's one of the easiest things in the world that she can do to help herself. Press, you know, you have like, dirty dishes to clean, but like you don't clean them because you're so depressed. It's kind of like that. Like just everything seems so much harder than it actually is. So I am going to choose, oh, I can barely pick up my phone with this hand. Like it just sucks. So I'm going to choose what I'm going to wear for the day. Um, I don't know y'all. I'm also super girl, get out of that closet. It's pride month <laughs> behind. I'm putting away my clothes. Like these are clean. These are clean. I am so bad about putting my clothes away. I'm better at it now living in this house where my laundry is on the main level and my bedroom is upstairs. But at my apartment, I just left my clothes in my dryer and I would just get dressed out of my dryer. I don't have my upstairs fully ready yet. So my clothes are kind of in a pile because I don't have my closet organizer installed yet. It's, I have so many things I need to do, which is why I feel bad about being a lazy bum for half the weekend. I have clean ones in the dryer still. Like, uh, I'm just, my adulting around the house has been just no bueno. But you know what? We're getting through it and just take day by day, you know? Five below. We have a couple of those around here. I haven't been in a while. That's kind of a cool little thing. The little strawberry and mint thing. And then a, a little mint garden and... Catnip. Why do you need a board? <laughs> I think I need to get one of the Jesus ones that says I saw that. 
Let's see, where is it? There we go. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, a little Moncala game. Oh, some incense. Some of these I don't think are good for, for critters, are they? Some of the scents? Oh god, patchouli. I can't stand the smell of patchouli. What? What? These little vases. Oh, another vase. So my girlfriend oh my is gosh. making the little sign. Oh no, you're not putting watermelon kisses on that board. Oh. Hmm. And that we got from Five Below. We're actually gonna keep it in the kitchen. Um, watermelon Kisses is like an inside situation type deal. And then I wrote a poem about it. It's just a little. Yeah. The poem was a topic on Telenim where somebody was like, that's racist because her girlfriend's African American and the whole watermelon racist thing was black people. I have an ex girlfriend that's black and. She hated that. She was like, I like watermelon, but I hate eating it in public. <laughs> but so the poem, Watermelon Kisses, apparently was Amberlynn had a piece of watermelon in her mouth or something and was sharing it with her girlfriend. And then her girlfriend gave her a kiss and looked at her and said something like, I love watermelon kisses. <laughs> so... That's where the name of the poem came from, and she wrote a poem about it. So that's what the watermelon kisses inside thing is. A little, a little moment. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, let's block the outlet. It was her idea to put that. I just came over here and I was like, what you doing? That's so cute. Okay, so I have massively oh. hated this book. It is a third book in a series. But the person who recommended it to me said... Like, I didn't have to read the first two in the series, so I believe them, but I hate it. So I am giving this book to Goodwill, and I'm going to choose my next read. These are all the books that I have that I have not read. Whenever I finish a book, I just simply give it to Goodwill or give it to, like, a friend or someone I know that would enjoy it. So I'm going to go. I am so bad about getting rid of books. I have gotten rid of a few over the last few years before I moved, but I am so bad about getting rid of books. I have books from college. And I graduated in 2007. I still have textbooks <laughs> from my graduate program. Once I get the library library done upstairs, I will show you more. But yeah, I am so bad about getting rid of books. I'm seriously like a book hoarder. Go through and choose. But I have gotten better about it. I actually think I know exactly. I want to read The Wicker King by Kay Ingram. Okay, so from my understanding, this book is about a guy with schizophrenia. He's on like the varsity uh, rugby team and then he meets someone named August. And the guy with schizophrenia name is Jack. And like he takes August on pretty much a journey of his schizophrenia. But then Jack is so convincing with his halluc hallucinations that August starts to think, okay, is this fantasy world real or not? And as things get more extreme and more dark, the pages actually get dark. As you can see, they start off light and then they get darker. So I'm excited to try this. I'll hmm. give you guys random updates. I used to read really quickly and a lot with my ADHD. Interesting concept with the um, with the pages like that. What I assume is ADHD. Um, she needs to get freaking diagnosed and get medicated for that too. I, I could barely read a paragraph. So we're going to try it. We're going to get through it. Slowly but surely, and I will just give you guys random updates. So if you guys want to read this and follow along as I read, you should definitely do it. Screenshot if you want to get it. Okay, so this is a trigger warning because there's going to be a little bit of flashing on the screen. There's also going to be a fake bug. But my cat, Rarity, we put it on the TV. We put this, like, YouTube video for cats that they can play with. And we put it on the TV. Some cats, like, play with it on the iPad and such, but I don't have one. So I want to show you some clips from that. It was super adorable. So, yeah, trigger warning. Oh, yeah, the bugs are, ugh, I don't like it, but the uh, cat playing with it is cute. You could do like some fish or something. <laughs> oh my god, it literally <laughs> stops. Oh, did you see that? 
What? <laughs> oh my god. She breaks the TV. <laughs> yeah, I was getting ready to say, I, I hope the TV is started and started, sturdy and solid. So when she hits it, it's not gonna knock it over or anything. It'll, uh, oh my god, it's brutal. Be a little more gentle. Well, it's a big bug. She has to hit it hard. Okay, you guys. So it is time. I did do more of these. So these are the ones that I have already done and I've showed you. Now, I'm about to show you the new ones. So I did another border. Because like I said, I think borders are fun to do. Lovely. Usually there is no rules. This one was more so just like a doodle moment. It says laughter, love, happiness. Is this a live, love, laugh type thing? Oh, I'm gonna smile over here. So maybe, maybe all that scratch art did aggravate her wrist with this just on her smile. wrist. I really, really enjoyed doing this one. Like the tedious ones are the ones that I find most therapeutic. Because they I'm keep your mind busy. Means, but I try to like display that like messy artwork look. And really, I just made this butterfly and flowers look like a kindergartner did it. Here we have a little succulent moment. I well, have no idea, know. but it was fun to make. This one was also another tedious one. But I think that looks so cool, honestly. I kind of like that one, the way it kind of looks like shadows. This one. Some Don't like that one. A cupcake Cat moment, because everyone loves a cupcake. Am I right? Last but not least, we have this weird creation. But, oh, is that all? Wow. We have a... Um, little over eight minute uh video there wow so amberlyn has injured herself they went to five below and bought some random things what one was a game they bought some vases don't know if they bought any incense or not but not a lot in this one other than amberlyn had not been taking her medicine which we already knew from her telling him but where that fell within her video cycle was really hard to tell but i think it's about this is about three weeks ago or so. So, you know, taking her medication is one of the easiest things she can do to help herself. And then getting her her therapist or psychologist, wh wh whichever one can do it, to diagnose her with ADD or ADHD, whichever it is, and getting help for that can also help her a lot, I think. So... Um, yeah, basically, I want Amberlynn just medicated the hell off. <laughs> but taking her bipolar medication regularly, I think, would do her a lot of good. So, I don't know. Um, any of you have any experience with medication like that and how it affects you when you stop taking it for a bit and then start back up again? Do you have any side effects or complications from it? Or does it just kick right back in and start working? I don't know. I'm not on any mental health medication, although I probably should be. Um, but I think that's all we have in this one. So I hope you all have a lovely coming week. And until next time, be safe and take care. <laughs>